Or you too, like I told you I was gonna wear the shirt on the next day. The t shirt, nice. That's trap ball, the t shirt. So, again, I'm gonna put this panel somewhere at the bottom here, and y'all just be able to go to his IG, click the link that's in his bio, so it'll take you right to his store where you'll be able to buy his t shirts. But I'm liking the way that they fit, fit pretty nice on me. I like the design with the T. The trap barbers got the plug. That's pretty straight to me. I rock with it. Shout out to my boy Will. Yo, so to kick this video off, I'm gonna go in with a number four guard and I wanna just get all this hair laid down. I got it completely closed. I'm cutting with the grain and I wanna make sure that the, I'm doing slow, nice full strokes so I can get this hair down and achieve that one desired length. Keeping everything consistent, long strokes, making my way all the way through the hair, brushing it after just to lay it down. It's that straight wavy hair. You don't wanna nick this, you just wanna make sure you get it right. My next step is to go in with my Babyliss FX. Due to this being a new client, I never cut him before. I'm gonna give him a low ball taper. I wanna show a nice drastic taper, but at the same time, make sure that it's pronounced enough to show that curve. My next step is to go in with a number two guard, completely closed, and I'm gonna flick at this area. Seeing that his hair is real dark up top, I don't wanna overly do this. I wanna go in next, completely open, a half inch under that, and create some room to start my fade. Next step, one eighth guard, which is equivalent to a number one, completely open. And I want to start to debulk this area and create that transition. My next step is my 1 16th halfway close. And as you guys can see, I'm starting to create more of a transition. It's starting to soften up, starting to feather up. And the taper is coming together very well. He got a big wave right there, right with that C-shaped start. So I want to be real careful, but make sure that I create a nice transition and not completely close with my Babyliss F-axis so I could get this ball line out and get a nice transition overall and a nice taper. Sixteenth to clean up under that a little bit more. Using the heel of my blade to pull up some of that curly hair on the side behind the ear. As you guys can see, it's coming together really well. My next step, go in with a number two guard, completely open in the back. I want to open up this back area and develop a nice clean taper back here. So this is going to be a part of my game, using that two to go in and debulk because his hair is at a four. I don't really feel like I have to debulk with a three. I feel like that's too many guards when using uh, on the waiver. Just stay under the last big wave, stay consistent, use the heel to your blade, and make sure that you feed that hair through the teeth so you can get a nice transition opposed to using a lot of guards. My next step, go in with my Babeless FXs. I'm going to give myself about an inch, ball this line out, and start to work myself up into this taper. I'm completely open now with my Andes Masters, giving myself a whole inch and blowing this area out. Next, I'm in here with my two guard completely closed up under my two open and I just want to make sure that it's softened up just a tad bit more so I can break it to that one eighth guard which is this one completely open and get more of that transition. 
I just want to keep softening it up, keep feathering it up, and at the same time, you know, respect this taper and don't go too high because he got one big wave. And if you go too high, it's gonna really destroy the taper. So I'm just trying to take it easy, and I'm just trying to stay clean and uniform to my taper and keep everything up to par. You know, with this haircut, my next step completely closed, and I'm gonna blow this uh this line out. Go halfway here. It's coming together using the uh, corners of my blades, not using my whole blade. I'm only using my whole blade in certain spots. I want to get that transition down pack, and as you guys can see, it's coming together. Now, one sixteenth guard completely open, and I just want to flick at this area, get more of that transition, clean up some of that bulk, get a nice transition. two guard just to feather up more of this and as you guys can see that tape is coming together really well my next step is to go in with some spritz I couldn't get the other side I thought my camera was recording but it wasn't so I go in with spritz I want to lay this head down my client got a weird 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 lining in the front so it's gonna take some surgical work but we gonna beam it we gonna get it together we gonna lock in we gonna focus up I go in with my Babeless FX's, doing my slants, doing my verticals with my blade completely flat. Then once I get to the top of the ear, I convert to the corner of my blade to work myself around that ear. And as you guys can see, it's coming together really clean. Line. Then I want to clean up all of this, you know, chin and uh, jaw hair due to my client being, you know, in one of the branches of the army that he has to, you know, clean all this up and only be able to keep his mustache. So I'm going to repeat some of my same steps, do my verticals with my blade flat. And once I get to the corner or the tip of the ear, I'll convert to the corner of my blade and work my way in, ter in terms of my roundabout. I just want y'all to stay consistent, stay focused, and do it for y'all, man. This is super important this year. It's 2021. So I'm going to go in completely closed, and I'm going to float over these waves because he is a straight hair waver. I'm going to make sure that these hairs I laid down, this haircut solidified, is down to that one desired length, and it's all brought forward, and it's all consistent. I'm trying to lay the law. That's what I'm doing when, when I'm cutting hair. I just want to make sure that everything is consistent. I just need it to be super consistent. If I was to have one client that I think this client hair reminds me of, it would probably be Fonz. Fonz kind of got hair like this in a wave pattern like this. So, you know, this is like second in nature to me, even if it being his first haircut. The only thing that's a little different is the lineup, man. Like the lineup won't be easy at all. But at the end of the day, you know, it's up to you as a barber to change that outcome. Like, we are the first form of doctors, so I can't sit here and say that I'm not, you know, going to kill us. I have to. So I start in the middle, and I work my way all the way to the left, fulfilling all of the light spots, and just making sure that I could stay on the furthest hair opposed to digging to his lineup. I'm going to hit my vertical bars here, seeing that my vertical bar area is super light, even though I cut him with a four and didn't go high in his taper. Sometimes you just get clients like that, and now working on my Chicago C's. You got to pay attention. A lot of these waivers don't come in with super dense lineups. Some of their lineups be just super light, and that's a part of the game for you to go ahead and fix so i want to keep everything consistent and as you guys can see my client basically has an open spot right there so i'm going to complement that vertical bar on the furthest hair and it will complement the front of the lineup without pushing into that lineup that's super important that's just regular g for you right there and that's just being a professional you don't never want to dig into any light spot because you're going to curve your lining out and then your lining won't be straight at all line it up as if it has hair 
My next step, I go in with my boy Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Car at a three to four distance radius, and I want to spray this color. I want to make sure that I'm able to fulfill some of these light spots and fulfill the light spots in the front of the lineup. Give it some darkness, give it some pop, give it some color. You know, take it to another level. That's what happens when you in beam chair. I'm going to make sure that you get out my chair completely on fire. My haircuts are presentable when they lead the shop, but when it's waivers of people like this, you know, a lot of waivers really care about just, you know, the hair length that is cut down to in the tapers i want to make sure that i'm able to do the taper the hair length and i want to make sure that the lineup is is is, is super fire where i can get them the best lineup that they ever had that's super important when they get in my chair because i just want to make sure i can push that pin any other barber that go behind me you know is gonna have to meet a different type of criteria i set the client bar way higher my next step, I go on my Barber Magic Pencil. I'm using the white one because the tan one does not match as well with his skin complexion. If I was to use a tan one, it would have showed up yellow on his skin, which is not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for that white, crispy, clean look, and I'm going to really, really kill this right here. So I'm using this the same way women will use concealer for their eyebrows, going up to clean them eyebrows, filling them in with color, and then finally concealing them and blending them out with a blending brush. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just using, you know, different techniques that I see in different industries in my industry to solidify my mark just so I could create a different level of crispiness a different you know higher pitch tone of cutting hair I'm starting to see a lot of barbers use this through through YouTube now a lot of barbers using it on Instagram and that's what it's about you create ways for people to ride them that's the whole point of it if you gonna tell me that you want to be a barber hop in any innovative lane and you don't want to do nothing but do everything that everybody else doing then that's following to a T. You got to get in the game where it's trend setting and set trends for everybody else to follow that wave. And that's just what Beam is. Beam is a wave. I'm a different desired barber. Like, I got people who who, who hop in the game because of me and that's just super dope and I want to be able to push my pen and push y'all pen we all grow at the same time my next step I lean my client back angle my razor at a 45 degree angle bringing everything back to the lineup as you guys can see I got them crispy it's super icy man this is this is looking really 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 good angled at a 45 degree angle bringing everything back to that lineup Pfft, gas Shout out to Jern Bowman for this beat too. Jern be snapping on these beats, man. This one came out real clean, just being real precise. You know, not overly working myself. My client got lighter skin. It could get irritated and turn red easy, so I'm just taking my time. And now using my shaver just to bring this whole haircut together, all because I said he couldn't have anything but a mustache. I wanted to make sure that his face was as clean as possible. The bottom of his taper is as clean as possible. That line up straight, the hair down to that desired length. It's on, that's it right there, that's money. That's money. Getting them clean. Yeah, that's money. And he's, on, and he's swimming right now. Them waves is in there. Tape a nice lineup. Crazy. So y'all know in the imperfect world, we get these clients that come in and do these whoops, man. Crazy lineups. Tape is iffy. But it's up to us as barbers to shake them back. And y'all know how I give it up on my channel. It's nasty, dog. Let's see what he think. Yeah, man, you brought me back to real, yeah, I, mean, I appreciate you, that. I appreciate that. You the right one to come to. Hey, I appreciate that, my boy. All right, YouTube. He told me that was a month and a half just a wolf in something slight. So hopefully y'all like that. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section.